Hi, I'm Sam Kerr. I'm a principal product manager here at GitLab. And today I'm gonna be recording this video while I work on rebasing our 15.2 release branch onto the current master branch. Um, this process can involve a few different steps. And I wanted to record this video to share with others how I did it in case there's room for improvement or in case it helps them. So with that, let's go ahead and I'll share my screen. I'm gonna be jumping around between different windows during this video a few times. So first let's take a look at the release post merge request. So the step I'm gonna be working on is this one. So work with the technical advisor to merge, merge master into the release post branch before the 22nd. Today's the 21st of July. So this needs to be done by tomorrow. This reduces the risk of need to resolve conflicts when merging the release post branch into master on the 22nd. This issue shows an example of how this process can be handled. Um, and after discussing with the advisor, I might wish to remove the draft prefix or merge master into my branch multiple times before the 22nd. All right, so with that, the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna be doing all of these operations locally on my laptop, as opposed to trying to do them inside of a GitLab merge request. Um, I'm just more comfortable with that workflow. If you have a different one, feel free to use that. So I've got a terminal here. I'm on the GitLab release 15.2 branch. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have the latest of all these branches first, um, just because there's been some changes on the website that I don't have on my laptop yet. So we just got the latest release branch. Now we'll get the latest master branch. And so I'm using git pull. Uh, git pull to get the latest files from each of those branches respectively. So now that we have done that, let's switch back to our 15 to release branch. Um, and this next step, I'm actually going to use a git uh, get program um, that's not the command line uh, called fork. So let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll work in there from now on. So what fork is, this is a way to interact with Git repositories in a more visual way. Uh, I find this easier to do than doing all these operations directly on the command line. Again, it works for me. If you have something else that you like better, do that instead. Um, so what we're looking at right here, this is the 15.2 release branch. We can see all of the different commits that have been done against this branch. Um, the most recent one was today at 1.30 in the morning by Brian, it looks like. And what our goal is going to be is to merge the master branch into our release post branch. Um, hmm. I'm just reading the issue that we looked at earlier. So what's interesting is we're going to be merging. Let's take a look at both the master branch and the release branch on the same screen. So this commit that we can see up here at the top, this is the, the master branch. This little Tanuki icon here means that it's also on .com as the master branch. Um, so what we need to do, I think first is probably, and here's our 15.2 release branch. So what I think we need to probably do first is rebase the 15.2 release branch onto the master branch. Um, if we go back way, way far in time, uh, this purple line here is the one that we're following for our 15.2 release branch. Um, not wherever it is. Point being, the 15.2 release branch is sitting on top of a very old commit from master, which is more likely to give us problems when we try and do our, our merging. So what we'll do is go ahead, right click the master branch with the 15.2 release branch checked out. We're going to say rebase on the master. So hopefully we don't have to do any hand, hand modifications to make this succeed, but we will uh, deal with it if we do. All right, perfect. And now our repository looks a lot more clean. Um, so if we scroll back through, we see all the different commits and they are on top of our latest master. So with that, let's go ahead and push these up to gitlab.com. You can see in the fork, the 47 down, 181 up. This means that 
Gitlab.com is 47 commits behind our branch because we have all of these new commits here, but also that we are 181 commits in front of the branch. Um, the, these 181, those are all the new commits that were done to master that we just rebased into our branch. So let's go ahead and push that. Moving outside, that's the, that's the background that I see here. So we're pushing. It says to merge master into your release branch. I'm not quite sure why we would need to merge it as opposed to just a rebase. What is it to merge master into your release post branch before the 22nd? I think that might be saying to do a rebase just in different language. Let's go ahead and we'll stop looking at fork. Let's go back to the issue and read that. Because previously in the release post tasking, it said to use rebase a few different times throughout the couple of weeks so we've worked on it. Um, but this says use merge master. So let's take a look at this issue that it's referencing. So this one, we decided we would check out a merge master into the branch first. Complex and doing this directly with or without a rebase. So notably, this is an issue, not a merge request. So let's see if we can find some other code changes. Yeah, there's quite a few code changes. Uh, let's go back to this. Put the advisor to merge master into the release post branch. Yes, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, and we'll go back to fork and talk about why that is. And where'd my fork wonder? Oh, here we go. And so the reason that that doesn't really make sense to me is because if we try and merge master into our branch, master has no actual commits to merge in. Um, all of the commits that we see here are being done directly on the 15.2 release branch. So master has no other additional commits to merge in. Um, we already have all the latest commits from master. I think that might have been more applicable if we had merge conflicts, potentially. Uh, we just got lucky for this release. We don't have merge conflicts. Um, so we'll actually call this video done here. Uh, so again, just to review what we what we did in this video using fork. So we started out by making sure that we had the latest changes from gitlab.com on my laptop. So I did that on the command line, but in fork, you can also do it just by clicking the, the pull button or you can right click and say pull origin release. Um, then we made sure that we had the release 15.2 branch checked out. And then we right clicked master and we did rebase on master. Um, we didn't have any merge conflicts or anything that we need to modify by hand, but if we did, we would have done that. Uh, and we know that we have done that successfully because we see the master branch is this commit. It's the same master that's on gitlab.com. That's what the Tanuki is. And then all of these other changes, these are the release post changes uh, for 15.2 that we were making along with the other contributors. Um, the only thing that I didn't really talk through when I did it, uh, when we pushed the release 15.2 branch back to GitLab.com, because this was a rebase, we had to do a force push. So force push, you always need to be very, very careful that you're doing it, uh, that you know what you're doing and you're intending to force push. Um, you generally don't want to be force pushing, but in this case, because we did the rebase, um, we had to do force push to rewrite 
what is in gitlab.com with what is on my laptop now that worked successfully. And that's why we can see that Tanuki icon there as well. And with that, I'll call this video a wrap. Thanks for your time. Hope it helped. Bye.